How are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Live From The End with Joey. So I got a powerful video for you today. So I asked my community what kind of video they suggested, what kind of video they wanted. And a lot of people were voting for a self-concept video. The other suggestion was a third party video and what you could do to remove them. So I'll make a video on that next. Maybe I'll drop that a little later today, excuse me. Um, so let's hop right into it. So self-concept is very important. First, we have to define what a self-concept is. Your self-concept is everything that is you. Sorry for the lighting. My uh, PS4 is on and the uh, brightness dimmed down. Your self-concept is everything that is you, okay? It's a massive, infinite accumulation of everything that is you. Another way of, of uh, wording this is your self-concept is your state of being, okay? We have different states involving different areas of our lives, and we have different self-concepts in different areas of our lives, meaning the state that you're in is going to be different involving finances as opposed to your SP. In the same likeliness, your self-concept involving finances is gonna be different than the self-concept you're gonna have involving your SP, okay? It's an accumulation of your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, expectations, everything, okay? It's not just how you view yourself or how you think the world views you. It's more than that. And I know you guys are taught that that's what it is, but in my opinion, that's an inaccurate way to teach it. It's accurate, but it's a little inaccurate because it leaves out a lot of other um, details. Um, it's everything that is you, okay? So now that we've gotten clear about what a self-concept is, state of being, um, so think about it like this just as, as a final example, actually. Your state of being, okay, that you have involving finances, your self-concept that you have involving finances are all gonna have dot thoughts, feelings, expectations, beliefs, assumptions, etc., that are directly related to it, Okay? This is why you could do better in one area of your life and slack in another. Because the state of being that you have, the self-concept you have involving finances has thoughts that match it in a healthy way, such as money comes to me easily and effortlessly. I always get money. You know, money is too damn easy for me to make, right? And you have feelings that are healthy associated with it, such as the feeling of feeling abundance. And you have healthy assumptions, beliefs, etc as opposed to maybe an unhealthy self-concept that you would have, an unhealthy state of being that you would have involving your person. In that state, that self-concept is going to have thoughts and feelings, expectations, assumptions, beliefs that aren't exactly beneficial, such as, you know, um, they'll never want me, they'll never want me, you know, um, you're going to have feelings of anxiousness, desperation, neediness, etc. So now that we've gotten clear about what the self-concept slash state of being is, let's get into the fun stuff. Let's get into how you can improve your self-concept state of being. And I'm going to share what I've done and what some of my clients have done in their own lives. Now, what I've done, now I'm not going to lie to you. When I first started, I was going hardcore. This is before, when I first started doing this self-development work, like wholeheartedly, this is before I was aware of the law of assumption. I first became aware of the law of assumption literally on January, I believe it was either 14th or the 17th of 2020. But before that, I was aware of just the spirituality as a whole, manifestation as a whole, the law of attraction-based mentality, things like that. So I was very much in this idea of acknowledging separation. I wasn't aware that everything is flowing, not, uh, not uh, how do I explain this, not everything happening to me, it's happening through me. I wasn't aware that everybody's yourself pushed out. So I was taking a lot of forced action and it did help, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was scripting all the time, I was working out, you know, I was doing things for myself. And I'm gonna tell you guys, that did help. But when I became aware of the law of assumption and I really started going in within internally and started clearing out my fears, but first I took some time, I identified what those clears are, what those fears are, excuse me. And then I work towards shifting through them. Self-concept work is defined as inner work as a whole. So shadow work, inner child healing work, clearing out fears, clearing out repressed energy slash repressed feelings, all of that stuff. Saturating your inner world with the experience fulfilled, right? This is all inner work. This is all self-concept work. This is all work to help you change your self-concept and shift you into a new state of being, into a new reality. So... Um, listen, do things for yourself. Yes, 
If there's something that you've been wanting to do that you put off for a while, take up to the mantle and start doing that thing. If there's a book or video game or a friend that you've wanted to see or read or play for a while that you've just put off, take up to the mantle and start doing those things. And assume that what you're doing is the right thing to do and is the healthiest thing for you to do, okay? Seriously. And above all those, if there's anything you keep in mind that you really need to take into notice, really take notes on this, Assume that whatever the fuck you're going to do is going to work for you easily and effortlessly and in the most loving way. One more time. Assume that whatever you're going to do is going to fucking work for you easily, effortlessly, and in the most loving way. Okay? So getting back on track. Yeah, start doing things for yourself, you know? Work out. If you've put off working out for a while, start doing that. Raise your confidence. Spending time with the people you want to spend time with. Reading that book that you've wanted to read and then you start doing it. Right, You start doing these things that you've put off for so long because of a state of fear. It's inherently going to build your confidence. And that is a part of the process of improving your self-concept. All right, Of shifting you into a new state where you just scream to the heavens and above, I am the embodiment of fucking confidence. That's actually an affirmation you can use. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is the inner work. Okay, The wholehearted inner work. But you really want to keep in mind that we're not going to do this from the state of a forced based nature. Meaning we're not going to force ourselves to fucking script or imagine when we clearly don't feel like doing it. We're not going to force ourselves to affirm or a form, which is just an ask formation, when we don't really want to do it. But we're going to make sure we're staying on top of where our focus is going during those moments when we don't feel like we want to do it. Right? We want to practice that mental diet. A healthy mental diet consists of not just you flipping thoughts, but you clearing out the repressed energy that comes to the surface in the moment, okay? So if you're experiencing a negative thought, you don't want to just affirm over it and just flip it. Take some time, clear out the energy, and then flip it, okay? So you sit with that feeling with the intention that it's being healed and cleared out like I've been saying. And then when you start to stabilize, which you will very quickly, when you sit with it and you allow yourself to express it, then you can segue that energy into... Thoughts that employ the opposite, okay? If you guys have any questions, post them down below, all right? So these, this is something that my clients do. Now, a lot of my clients have done a lot of shadow work and have done a lot of inner child healing work. And another thing you could do to improve your self-concept, by the way, that's point number two. So point number one is you'd want to start doing things for yourself, things that you've deliberately put off. You want to start going in and just improving the quality of your life. That's number one. Number two is the inner work as a whole while keeping in mind that we're not gonna force ourselves to do this, okay? I know it's a little late in the video, but you guys definitely need to make sure you're taking notes. I'll post that in you know the caption someplace too. Um, but that's the second point is the inner work as a whole. So inner child healing work, shadow work, clearing out repressed emotions and feelings, right? Emotion is just energy in motion. Feelings are things like joy, bliss, happiness, etc. Um, uh, you know, saturating your mind with the experience fulfilled, right? But you got to take some time and get clear about what those fears are. So what I suggest to you is you get yourself very relaxed, very calm, very, very calm, okay? Maybe have some meditation sounds playing, sounds that make you feel good. Get yourself nice and relaxed, right? And I want you to start training yourself to go within and start connecting with your higher self, with God, with this infinite source that is everything. And I want you to start asking this part of yourself questions such as, what do I deeply desire to experience with my specific person? Who do I want to become in life? What is the best, most ideal version of myself that I desire to be? And don't go seeking and searching for the answers, but make it maybe do this once a day type of thing, right? Do this once a day, start connecting with yourself, start asking yourself questions, gain clarity. You have to figure out what you want specifically and what it is, uh, who it is that you'd like to be, excuse me, okay? So the third and final point that I want you to start doing is allow yourself to have fun and enjoy the present moment. That's a very incredible way to improve your self-concept and to shift states. So when you're doing something as simple as me playing this game, right? Um, can't see my controller, but maybe you can see the Lego sign right there, right? I've been playing a lot of Lego games lately because that has been my way as of late um, to connect with my inner child. Allow yourself to have fun, enjoy the present moment with what you're doing. Not everything has to be serious. This process isn't meant to be super serious. It's meant to be fun, encouraging, okay? So when you're doing something as simple as playing a video game or watching a movie, 
allow yourself to enjoy it. Okay, allow yourself to enjoy your inner child. Start treating manifestation in the same way that a child would treat their day when they're at a beautiful park. They're going to go crazy. They're going to have fun. They're going to enjoy the present moment. Start treating your manifestations that way. It doesn't have to always be super serious, okay? All right. So there you go, guys. These are three ways you can improve your self-concept, okay? Three ways, three very powerful ways, okay? Replay this video a couple times because I know this is a longer video. And go ahead and comment down below your thoughts. If you have any questions, stay on the lookout for more content as well. And of course, if you desire to work with me more one-on-one, -on -one, I have a small $10 discount specifically entailed to my email coaching. So if you're interested in that, all the info will be posted down below as well as my Instagram, TikTok, all that. Okay? Feel free to click that bell icon for more and feel free to share this video, man. Let people become aware of this because this is very powerful stuff, man. Okay? The act of getting clear about what you want, you know, focusing on who you want to be, focusing on what you want to experience, doing the inner work, allowing yourself to have fun with your life, allowing yourself to enjoy the present moment, allowing yourself to do things for yourself that you put off for a while. These are all very powerful things that I've done and my clients have done, seen massive shifts. Oftentimes, very, very fast. And I don't like to focus on time, but oftentimes it has happened very, very fast. And of course, as a bonus tip, be absolutely certain to stay absolutely 100% totally committed, consistent, and fucking persistent, okay? You got those qualities. It's only a matter of time before you experience what you desire, all right? And of course, don't focus on how long it's going to be. Just make sure you're doing the fucking work and you're staying on top of it, okay? And of course, practice that mental diet too. Remember what I said about sitting with the feelings. Much love and peace, and remember, you can manifest absolutely anything.